Hi, I'm Monica and welcome to my reading vlog for Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. So this is actually my second time rereading Six of Crows and this reread has been long awaited for me. I've been saying this for years to reread Six of Crows and I finally got around to it. And I'm excited to see what exactly I remember from this book because I checked my Goodreads and I read this when it first came out back in 2015, so seven years ago. There are some details that I do not remember and that kind of makes sense because it's been some time. <laughs> Very quickly, Six of Crows is about a ragtag team of six teenagers who come together to perform a very very risky heist. This book is an extension of the world of Shadow and Bone and I'm very excited to see season two of the adaptation of Six of Crows and Shadow and Bone together and I'm wanting to see how the TV show of season one of Shadow and Bone did and picked up stories from the book and how they adapted that to fit their prequel stories of the Six of Crows characters. So I'm excited about that and just a fair warning, there's going to be very minor spoilers in this vlog and let's just get right to the vlog. For my first check-in, I am about 20% of the way through, um, like on page 105 I think, like chapter 7. And so far, I am realizing that I do not remember a lot. <laughs> but I really enjoyed relearning all about the characters and their specific backgrounds. Us readers having our first introduction to the crows, especially after watching Shadow and Bone season one, it's really nice to see how they adapted the characters and such. Other than that, we're having a lot of setup on the island of Ketterdam and learning about the dreads, how Kaz has his cane and he rules his gang with a iron fist. And I just think that I'm gonna read this book quickly, I hope. <laughs> it's just like now I've been working a lot and I have school so it's been a little bit hard to find some time to read but I am so far really enjoying this book and I'm not really saying much about what's going on because again it's just like the introduction to the gang and we'll go on from there so I'll see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone and welcome to my second check-in for Six of Crows. I am on chapter 23 which is around 60% of the way in. Okay I'm gonna sit down because I'm tired. I just came back from work. What I was saying is I'm really excited to see these characters back on the page again. Reading through the scenes, they're familiar and I'm really excited to see how the TV show will adapt these scenes that we haven't seen for The Crows. Their dynamics was another thing that I missed with all their banter and all their relationships. Romance is popping up and the uncertainty of where things might go from here because of the heist. And to be honest, I didn't remember about that special drug that makes the Grisha's powers more, even more powerful. Jurda Param, I think it's how it's called. But it's nice to have a refresher on that. Also, the writing is very familiar with all the quotes that I love. And seeing all of the characters on the page again is really exciting for me. And this world is still one that I adore. I do really think Six of Crows is a really nice heist story because you are really involved of understanding what each step of the plan is and how there might be a little bit unexpected turns. And I did want to go quickly over the characters. So we have Kaz who is the brilliant mastermind of the dregs. He's a ruthless and a cocky leader. I missed him. I really like Kaz as being the ringleader of all these characters and he is the type of character who withholds a lot of information from the rest of the crew and they don't like that and they're always like, how, how did you know that? <laughs> And then we have Anaj who is the Wraith and with her being really skillful with knives and acrobatics, she's really keeping true to her faith and I do really like that aspect of her. But she does have like a practical side to her of accomplishing whatever needs to be done to complete her task. Next up we have Jesper who has a flair for the dramatics and he loves guns and he's a sharpshooter. Jesper gives off the comedic relief vibes but he is also I would say quite vital to the crew because he does have his skills 
of being a sharpshooter on his side and he also likes to gamble. Then we have Wylan, we have our demolitions expert and he's really nice. I really like him. He's a little bit lanky and awkward and he's a lot more quiet and trying to be like, I'm not a criminal when he's literally doing criminal activities. I like that side of him. Then we have Nina who is very flirtatious and snarky. She's honestly one of my favorite characters in the Six of Crows duology and in the Grishaverse universe. She's a powerful heart render who can literally kill you in an instant. Then we have Matthias who is a feared and brute and a warrior and I really like his warring emotions within him, especially regarding Nina. And I really like those two relationship and I do know what happens at the end of Crooked Kingdom. I'm not gonna say but it's painful, okay? I also have to bring up that I know this is part of Kaz and Anesha's relationship and their weird dynamic that they have going on, how Kaz repeatedly calls Anesh an investment and I think that really does hurt her but they work it out and we get to learn a lot about Kaz's backstory and especially how each of our characters have a complex and tragic backstory but I think that's just a result of in this world of Ketterdam and Ravka and everything that's going on within this universe. Anyways, I think that's all I want to say in this part. All right, for my last check-in, sorry about the lighting. If the lighting is bad, it's kind of like sunset now. Basically, the last half of Six of Crows was the climax of the heist and having all the carefully laid out plans go up in the air. There was a lot of improvision that happened. It was a lot of fun to read again. We also learned, and I did not recall this, but Jesper is actually a fabricator and a Grisha. And the entire heist at the Fjordan prison there was a lot of familiar faces for our characters like Inej, Nina, and of course Matthias. But there was that moment where Nina was locked up in the prison and Matthias was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave you here. I was like, dude, you better not leave me there. But I know I read the book before, but I knew he still really cared really deeply for her and, you know, he actually frees her. <laughs> Had me scared for like a quick second there. And now there's a bunch of fallouts that happen at the end of book two and I'm really excited to get back into what happens in the sequel. I'll say I'm just gonna say my concluding thoughts here. Usually I like set up properly for this part but I think I said everything I did want to say in the vlog portion but I'll summarize it in the conclusion part. Six of Crows is a fantastic heist fantasy novel that you will very much love and fall for the characters that we follow. I absolutely had a fun and fantastic time reading back of all the characters' backstories and learning them all over again. But mainly, I really am excited for the adaptation and how they will adapt some of our characters' backstories, mainly Kaz's I'm really excited for, and also and Nish and Jesper. I'm excited for all of them. <laughs> and I will be reacting to season two of Shadow and Bone when that releases, so keep an eye out for that. Other than that, I really did like how there's a lot more development of each relationship and friendship and also romances that we get to see in this book between several of the pairs, Kaz and Inej, Nina and Matthias, Waylon and Jesper, and also all the friendship and dynamics within the drags group is of course so much fun to read about. As usual, Lee Bardugo's writing is very easy to digest, very easy to read, and really fun to just get back into the world of Ravka and Ketterdam for our Crows characters. But I do feel like the backstories for me felt a little bit just thrown in at times. But I get it, it's the first introduction for readers for the Six of Crows characters. I just feel like I've known these characters for quite a long time now, so they're very familiar to me. It threw off the pacing a bit for me. Other than that, I will be doing a reading vlog for Crooked Kingdom, the sequel to Six of Crows in December, so keep an eye out for that when it's uploaded. Overall, I really like Six of Crows. It's a fun heist novel. It's nothing super serious but there are quite traumatic instances that our characters go through because 
Pitterdam and Ravka is such a harsh world and a lot of kids end up having a lot of things that they go through. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of this video and this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring the bell to be notified of my next video. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!